Max Day is an MMORPG with massive goals and a lofty scope. And although this new MMORPG has had several private tests that some have gotten to try it, it is opening the floodgates here in November for volunteers to dive in and participate in an alpha test. And PAX Day is a social sandbox MMORPG that is going for a living, breathing world full of features that can capture the imagination of many MMO players looking for the next cool MMORPG to release. Today we're going to be talking about what PAX Day is, all the new information, when and how you can sign up to try this MMO for this alpha test and more. My name is Nathan. I cover MMOs and RPGs, so please hit that like button like it owes you money and subscribe for more. First of all, PAX Day is on Steam, but all you can do at this time is wishlist this new MMO as it's still in mid-production. Now, PAX Day has already conducted multiple rounds of play tests, but it has only been with small groups of players, and the team at PAX Day say they are at a point in the MMO's development that they need to scale things up and check that the foundations are sound. And that is where this new alpha test for this new MMO, PAX Day, comes into play. The first large-scale alpha test for PAX Day begins on November 14th, 2023 at 4 a.m. Central, 5 a.m. Eastern, and will run all the way until November 27th, 2023, 4 a.m. Central, 5 a.m. Eastern. If you want to take part in the testing, I have a link in the description for you to sign up and hopefully get the chance to participate. I've signed up, and if I get in, unless the rules specifically say that I can't, I plan to stream and show it to all of you. They go on to also mention that you can use a friend token in order to guarantee that you join as a group for this testing. The server that PAX Day will be testing their MMO on is called Home Valley, and it says it will be focusing on peaceful gameplay. And I'm pretty sure based on the information we're going to get into, it mainly just means no PvP. Let's talk about all that's going to be available during this test and everything we know. First of all, we'll be able to explore the vast world of PAX Day. They've recently doubled the size of the world, and they have 20 valleys where players can claim land that are also massive in size. PAX Day has a go big or go home mentality, and I truly hope that the MMO's giant explorable areas are also filled with interesting locations, points of interest, and mobs to slay. During the alpha test for PAX Day, we can also find abundant resources in order to gather stuff, set up multiple crafters, and unlock a ton of recipes for crafting gear, weapons, and potions. Also, building your own home will be available in the testing with dozens of building pieces available currently in order to combine into making your own perfect home on your own plot of land out in the shared world. We'll also have the ability to group up as a clan to share storages, crafters, plots, and collaborate. Pax Day calls this guild system clans, but it is that. It's their guild system. And of course, we'll be able to adventure together, group up. Pax Day tells that it has numerous enemies and rare spawns in various camps, caves, and dungeons throughout the world to explore. They claim that we should exercise caution, however, that some of these areas are extremely perilous and death carries consequence and we'll get back to that in a minute. Now, we can also expect to see plenty of bugs, of course, at this particular moment of development as this is a first massive test and it's in alpha. The team at PAX Day made it clear that the game is by no means complete yet and they outlined their most top priority list of features and expanded systems they're currently working on, such as their combat and RPG systems. Many of these features are still in development, and the current system will be overhauled before too long. And to give you a brief rundown of the combat and what they have planned, they are going for a classic trinity with tanks, healers, and various forms of DPS, and I know crowd control's in there too because they mention it specifically later on. They also have a hate aggro system that players will need to manage. Running out of hit points, of course, kills you, but you have to also manage your endurance for things like sprinting, climbing, swimming, chopping, and attacking. So PAX Day is similar to most MMOs in the design of combat as far as we know and what you can expect, except for the class system. In PAX Day, because it's trying to become the ultimate sandbox MMORPG, classes are very fluid. You will... It will all depend on your gear that you have on to determine your role. So there's going to be items, 
uh, or gear that can be imbued with things like unique abilities, spells, weapon techniques, buffs and debuffs and the like. The example they give is that a tank build can involve combining a full plate of armor able to trigger an enemy or increase its aggro, or a medallion that allows the tank to cast a lull spell. Or you could swap out your leg armor instead of plate, maybe gets a leather piece that has a hill spell on it, or even a mesmerize spell. Crafters can design armor for different abilities and then players can use it in order to make the kind of class they want to play. Now let's talk about PAX Day and what it is and what they're going for with this new MMO. So PAX Day is out to build a massive sandbox MMO environment they think will draw players in to make it their virtual home. PAX Day has the feature to allow players to claim a plot of land in the shared world, make it their own to build their home or tavern or shop on. The testers have made cool things with it as I'm showing here. And of course, things will get crazier once tens of thousands of people pile in and start making their own creations. We've already talked about what we know about the combat, the classes, the gear, but let's also talk about loot. So PAX Day says you can expect classic foundations with shared loot tables for similar mobs and rare items for the formidable foes and bosses. They also hint that there will be certain skills that may influence loot tables. And if you're like me, you're probably thinking of rogue builds and being able to increase the chance for good drops. There will be magical items you can loot from enemies, and this is actually already in the game for the alpha build we'll be testing here soon, but they say that in their long-term plan, they are thinking of making the PvE drop rare resources and let all high-level gear be made by players only. For me personally, I actually hope they leave drops in and also allow for unique items and sets, even if they limit some ability type armor and gear for crafting only, there is a lot of magic and coolness in getting drops. So player feedback is going to be key here. If you want the precious materials and good stuff in PAX Day, they have certainly put those in the most perilous of places. In the wilderness, in the dungeons, where you take the largest risk for the reward. Oh, and by the way, the dungeons in PAX Day are public open dungeons where you'll encounter other players and social interactions can occur, cooperate, or compete for rare mobs and valuable loot. Speaking of risk, let's talk about PAX Day's death mechanics. In PAX Day's new MMO, they want the risk of death to be scary and meaningful. Just like EverQuest, if you die, you're gonna drop all your equipment on your corpse. If you don't have someone to resurrect you, you'll need to retrieve your belongings. Many items will also have durability which will take a hit when you die as well. They say there's more features to the death mechanic, but that's all they've announced so far. Many of you are probably wondering about PvP. Yes, PAX Day does have PvP, but it's on consent only. Home valleys are completely safe. Most zones are completely safe unless you specifically decide to turn on PvP. But they do have big, huge areas devoted to PvP, in which case you'll get a warning first, but it's on consent only, so you have to go there and say, yep, I'm going to partake in some PvP and I'm going to go to this place. Now, they did say they have some unique resources in these PvP areas, but they also went on to say that unique does not mean best. So if you enter these areas, your PvP flag is turned on while you're there, but that's up to you if you want to go there or not. The ultimate goal for this new MMORPG, PAX Day, is to offer the most freedom we've ever experienced in an MMORPG. G. That's what they're going for. A true new sandbox MMO, and I welcome this idea fully. PAX Day could go on to become the next big thing. With tons of content creators and players eager to see how it turns out, it certainly looks beautiful. It's definitely exciting, and I'll be streaming the alpha test as long as they allow it. So look forward to that in a few days. Are you excited for PAX Day? Plan on testing? Let me know in the comments down below. Your thoughts, your comments. Don't forget to hit that like button like it owes you money, and subscribe for more MMORPG content and entertainment. And until next time, my friends, God bless and happy gaming. I want to give a very special thank you to the members of Napalm for your contributions month over month in keeping me full time. You help me pay the bills so I can keep streaming and pumping out content, and I truly appreciate all of you. Thank you so much, and I think you might be interested in becoming a member of the channel. Please click the join button down below the video for more information and join our family. And I want to give an extremely big shout out to the Lords of Napalm, Bounty Code, Jared Woodhouse, Daimlos, Sparrow, Random Rob, Rodney Oman, Gallerain Moonsong, What's the Takeaway, Bad Wolf Gaming, Cobalt, William Long, Robert Deneka, Ohalo, and Angel Tari. Thank you for your highest tier membership.